Hi everybody, it's me Angie. I'm back. How are you all doing today? I've come on today to show you one of my tags. So I just thought I've been making some really, really nice, pretty tags. So I thought I'd show you the process of me making one today. I use, I've been recently using some uh, paper clay to make my frames up. So I've been using this one, which is a modeling Okay, but it's really light so this is how I do the I do a frame to go on the paper tag this one which I got off um, Aliexpress and I think it costs or it might be an eBay I think it costs like one pound something for the, the actual frame and the paper clay I buy online as well and you can get it on Amazon or eBay this one is called creative paper clay uh, I don't know what what brand it is actually Anyway, it's that one. So all you have to do is just basically get some some of the clay and roll it into a. This is what I do anyway. Roll it into a sausage, 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 and just squeeze it into the frame. But let me bring you down a little bit so you a bit closer so you can see what's going on. Just like this. So if you squeeze it all into the frame. And this one takes about 24 hours to dry. And then all I do basically once it's dry and I take it out, I just press in another one so that I've got, I'll have plenty on hand. I've got lots of different um, molds, but this has got to be, I would say, my favourite. This is my favourite mold for a frame. Uh, you just squeeze it in. That's all you have to do is squeeze it in easy peasy so I haven't been on for a little while I've had a bit of a break um, but I'm back now I just want to get on and get show you some more videos get some videos up and running again the longer you leave it the, the less likely you are to put a video up so I just thought right come on and get your act together get some it sorted I've been busy with all different things so so yeah, so that is it basically. You just squeeze it in, squeeze it down, push it around. It's really easy to use and it's beautiful and lightweight um, to put on things like tags and cards and stuff like that. So I would highly recommend anybody to have a go at this because it's just, they come out with a lovely. So I haven't got one that's made up and dried that I haven't painted already. So I'm going to show you one that I've already painted that we're going to be using on the tag today. So there it is. There we go. Sort it. Just push it to one side. Let it dry. As I say, if you let it dry in the mould, it's less likely to... If you take it out when it's not, not dry properly, it can crack. And also, it can bow up like a banana. So we don't want that, do we? So there. So I'll just push, push that to one side now. Remember to seal your clay or paper clay or whatever you're using up. I've tried it with normal clay. Um, it's really brittle, it just they easily snap, so I love this paper clay, it's wonderful stuff. I'm very lightweight, so I'm going to now show you one of the frames. This is how it came out, like that. And that's on the back, I haven't painted the back, but I've actually painted this with a paint, uh, pearlized paint. So it come out really pearly. So first step to my tag. I have got some tags that I've already, you know, bought ones, but for the life of me, I can't find them. I don't know what I've done with them. So I will just show you one that I've cut from another tag that I've already made. And they are, this one is five inches long by two and a half inches wide. And then you've got the little bits that you cut off. And that's where the hole's going to go to put the ribbon in. So the next thing I have to do is actually put some paper on this. So I've got some paper here. Um, easy peasy. Just put your paper down like that. Oh, hang on, I've got to get some some tape or something up to I'll fix it. Bear with me a minute. I'll be back now. Another beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day in Bristol. We've had an absolute wonderful time. It's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant this weather. So can't con can't really complain about it. So I'm just going to use I'm going to use double-sided tape to do this. And if you can hear noise, 
for the traffic I apologize it's just that I've had to add the door the patio door is open because it's so hot it's either that or the fan and that makes just as much row uh, and then now we've got the paper tape on it's just a matter of peeling off the back which I always find really difficult for some reason I'm not sure why but I just do So peel off the the backing paper eventually. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this, I always do. No, it's not coming off that way. Let's try down this end. Yeah, we've been having some we've had a proper heat wave here in, in um, Bristol. Sunny Bristol, it's been beautiful. It's not quite so nice to work in, mind. But we haven't got air conditioning in our shop where I work, so we just melt. So I'm going to line it all up, press it down like so, and I've covered over the whole donut ange. Where's that one I was using? What have I done with that? Using it just now. Just to find out where the hole is. This is another one I've already started to make up, but I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll come along, show you the process. Let's do that. Oh, I've just snapped my pencil now. Right. And just cut round it. Slightly off centre. Never mind. I think like so like so like so there we are come on there we are so that's that side I mean you can use any paper you want I've got I've got an array of beautiful papers that um, I absolutely adore my papers so I'm going to where that is that that circle I'm just going to push it through with a a pointy thing if I can find a pointy thing. Just so we know where the hole's supposed to be. Come on. Doesn't want to go. There we are. That's it sorted. And then same thing for the back. We can just use a different paper. I'm going to use the same paper just for quickness. So this might be in two parts, depends on how, how I can get on with it, but it's never a bad thing. I just don't like rushing. Oh, come on. So if you've got any tips on how to get this stuff off, please, please, please help me out. There we are. And then, depending on where we want the paper, we'll put it down like that. Let's try and put it straight. Like so. Just press it down. Oh, I've missed a bit there, never mind. On the bottom, it don't matter so much because I'm going to put a bit of trim along the bottom. And this paper just come from a paper pad that I had. Um, from the works. I think it was only a cheapy one. But it's nice, pretty. So there we have our tag so far. Now let's push the hole through the other side. So we know where the ribbon's going to go. I just, I'll probably make the hole a bit bigger. You can get those um, things that go round, but I don't know where to buy them, so I don't bother. I have got a punch actually, I might use my punch. I'll probably use my punch on it. Right then. 
So now pick whatever side you want for your frame. That looks wonky. Why does it look wonky? That's look wonky, doesn't that? Oh, me and my wonky. Wonky, wonky. Right, let's do this side. So I'm going to put the frame there like that to make a nice picture. Let's bring you down a bit closer again. Like so. There we go. You can see it better now. And all I do is I just stick it down with hot glue because I find it's just as easy to use that as anything else. And it stays, stays in place. There we go. Hold it down. Job's a good one. Trim this up a bit. That's probably why it looked wonky. So what I'm going to do now, when I finish trimming this all off, I'm not so much worried about the bottom. Now what I do is decorate it. I mean, it's nice to do a nice tag, don't you think? So I've got some little flowers here. I've got some, these are foam roses. So usually what I do is I don't use them the size they are. I cut them down to make them smaller. So you just basically um, create a picture inside the frame. You can use anything you want, really. You could use little bows, butterflies, anything you want, really. That's what I do anyway. So I'm going to have my two roses like that just stick them down there we go and one there like so okay leaving a little gap there because in there I'm going to put a bead and then I want one of these these little um, is it called baby's breath? Like that. So this always looks nice because it's more 3D dimensional than you see. I'll cut it a bit, a little bit shorter. And just glue that in. Into place. Push it down and hold it. That's what we've got so far. Like so. I'm going to pop a bead in there. And then I'm going to trim along the bottom. Put some small tiny trim around the edge. And then put the ribbon on and it'll be done. It's, um, it's very... It's not, uh, it's not a long process, but... I think you just make it more interesting every time just by putting something different, you know, on. So I've got some little mermaid beads. I think they're called mermaid beads. And they're pink on one side and purple on the other. I haven't got a hole in them. So they're perfect for using your art, designs, projects. So I'm going to put the little mermaid bead in here for just a bit of extra interest if I can get some glue going. Right, let's try again. Like so. There we are. There we go like that, see? In there like that. You can put sparkly bits in, you can put little gems in, you can put anything you want in. So we want a bit I want a bit of trim to go along here and out, and then I'm gonna trim all the way around the edge, then I'm gonna put some ribbon on, so I want a trim to go across there. So I have to find a trim, a pretty trim, a pink one, pinky pink pink. And let me just have a look, see what I've got in my box of trim. I've got some trim. Okay. Now this is quite pretty. Oops, sorry. Smashing the place up here. So yeah, let's use a bit of this. You can put on any trim you want, but I like it to look like a little skirt. 
like a little bit of um, yeah like a screw I suppose stick some trim on you could put lace on beads pearls tassels dangly bits whatever you want just make it your own because that's what I do and it's nice to have a nice tag and it it really doesn't take that long all I do is I trace around um, a tag onto a bit of chipboard or you can even use cardboard I've used cardboard before if I haven't got any chipboard and it's an, a nice way to use up little bits and pieces that you've got I mean you don't have to put a frame on it you could put something else on it you know, a picture maybe like that like that like that and then this is going to come around there I'm going to just trim this off this is going to come round and over first so I keep most of the joins on the back like that and then this one is a little bit long I'm just going to trim it there and then stick it down it's getting there so now I'm going to put a bit of trim you could put um I suppose you could put flat back pearls around the edge couldn't you so what do you think that's quite pretty isn't it tell me what you think ladies and gentlemen I just think it's so nice to have a, a really nice tag on it right you need some trim Let's try this trim see what this is like no I don't like that Oh, sorry ladies and gentlemen, some pink trim. So here is some tiny trim, here, and I'm going to stick that all the way around with some hot glue. Let's just snip off the end and make it nice and sharp. can see what I'm doing. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So this is the bit I usually get wonky. thing is if you pull it off straight away you're more likely to once it's down and it's solid you can't get it off you'd have to rip the paper off but crafting's not about being perfect is it about the traffic we live on a main road I don't never hear it anymore when I, we first moved in I was like oh my god am I ever going to be able to put up with this but to be honest with you you just don't hear it down try and get as much on as possible before the glue sets then you can get it straighter there you have it snip that off scissors are a bit big and I think I'm going to oh sorry I'm going I'm not doing very well today am I I'm going to ink around the back and put the ribbon on and we'll be done so I'm going to use my infamous, my very famous 
Distress Oxide in Worn Lipstick. And I'm still using the same one I was using all that time ago. And it's not, I'm saying this, but the ink has not run out yet. So I've done really well. I'm really happy with it. So just for a bit more interest, I'm going around the edges. And all we've got to do now is put a bit of ribbon through and we're done. So ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. There's pink ribbon. There we are, pink ribbon. This is a cool ribbon that I get this in um, the range. This ribbon, it's a panda roll and I absolutely love it. It's my absolute favourite might be a bit long and I always cut it down so I get double double my money and I put it on my cards or on my tags I always cut it down the middle get two two for the price of one I think that'll do that'll be enough there you go Try and thread this through the hole now. Ah, I'll just make the hole a bit bigger. In the, in the big, in the big bite. There we go. In a minute, I'll be back now. There we go. Just made it all a bit bigger. And you just thread it through and that is a perfect tag to send attached to your goodies. So there we have it. Just cut them on a diagonal. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. One pretty tag. And you do them in any colour you want. So you can put a bit of sparkle in there. Sometimes I put a little um, a little crystal or something of, of interest in them. It's, it's entirely up to you and you just, you just do it however you like. So it's all to your preference. So that's how I make my little tags to go on my entries. And if I've got any goodies that need sending out. So yeah, so I hope you like that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, give us a thumbs up if you do and um yeah thank you all for watching so i'll speak to you all soon very very soon we hope so i'll be back soon with um another video and i've missed you all so i'm going to come back now and see what i can what more i can create for you so thank you all for watching and i'll speak to you all later folks bye for now bye bye bye